Praise the Lord, saints of the living God. This is Pastor Jones here tonight. I'm also with my wife, Elect Lady Jones. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. It just came to my heart to talk about Halloween a little bit. And I'm here to try to explain that, hey, as saints of the living God, we are we got to be mindful and careful not to get involved with uh, some of these demonic and uh, satanic holidays. You know, Halloween is basically a satanic holiday. Anyone can research the origin of Halloween and you'll find out. This is basic knowledge. Its origin is in the occult. And uh, I just think the saints of God shouldn't have anything to do with Halloween. And I'm not trying to <clears throat> tell you what to do and how to run your life or how to run your church or your ministry. That is not what God wants me to do. But I'm here today to tell you that Halloween is not something that the saints of the living God need to be involved with. And I know it seems like it's a lot of fun for the children. The children have them a good time. And, but, baby, everything our children shouldn't have to, shouldn't be a part of. Um, when you deal with the fact that there's demons and there are actually witches and warlocks and stuff like that out there for real, we can't play with this thing called Halloween. So if you're a saint of living God and you're a halt between two opinions about whether or not you should actually get involved with Halloween, the answer is absolutely no. Yeah. As saints of living God, what fellowship have light with darkness? I mean, come on. Uh, Halloween glorifies death. Our life as Christians glorifies life. Our experience as Christians glorifies us as living for God and serving God. We can't get be involved in demonic stuff and uh, dealing with all this kind of occult, with the occult, mm -hmm. uh, with black uh, <clears throat> magic and witchcraft and uh, death. Baby, we're about light. We're not about darkness. Mm -hmm. Our lifestyle is about life. It's not about darkness. Praise the Lord. There's a scripture. Uh, uh, before I get into the scripture, I'm going to ask my wife if she wanted to uh, chime in on and say anything real quick. Mm -hmm. You got it, babe. All right. Let's go to a scripture real quick. Uh, in the book of um, Ephesians chapter number five and verse number, Ephesians chapter number five and uh, verse number eight. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse five, number 8. Verse eight. Yes, it says, let's all verse 7. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, it says, Be not ye therefore partaken with them, for ye are sometimes darkness, mm -hmm. and now are ye light in the Lord. Walk in the walk as children of the light. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible is telling us to walk as children of the light. We can't walk as children of uh, darkness. We can't walk around like we're in darkness. We have to act like we're in the light. We, we, has, we have to act and walk as though we're children of the light and not children of darkness. Yeah. Amen. Go ahead and finish reading that, Lake Lady Jones. Please. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Amen. Is, it, is that yes, what verse you want to go to? Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Now. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Wow. And have what? No fellowship. No fellowship. No fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Uh, some people say, well, then it's just a holiday. It's just a holiday. Well, it's really a holiday that's origin. It's from the occult. Mm -hmm. It's from witchcraft. Um, and we got to understand. You go Google it. I ain't got time to talk about the, the Druids and all that kind of stuff and the origin of it. How the, the Druids was like a cult, uh, priests, Vikings, and all this kind of stuff, and how they basically done sacrifices mm -hmm. uh, and, and killed people and, and involved in all human sacrifices and all that. That's where Halloween comes from. You go and research the, the, the Druid priests and all these things, and uh, you know, all this kind of darkness. It, it celebrates death, it does not celebrate life. And as people of God, we shouldn't be involved with that. Well, I'm going to take my children out trick-or-treating and let them go ahead and trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat, give me something good to eat. Well, you know, and then, you know, there's people I noticed when I was growing up occasionally, praise the Lord, I noticed when I was growing up occasionally, we would have to examine our can and make sure there ain't nobody put anything in it. That's right. See, sometimes, and you got <laughs> some places actually will x-ray the can, make sure that there ain't nobody put in any type of razor blades and nails or something like that in the candy. This is supposed to be a fun holiday, right? So why is people doing demonic stuff like trying to hurt little children? They'll put some people to steal it, put stuff inside a candy. They'll still put stuff inside a fruit. 
Uh, before you let that child bite down into that apple, you need to check that apple out. Make sure ain't nothing ain't slipping a razor blade off in it sometime. And that can I've been told I've been told I don't know if it's true or not. Some people have actually said people have prayed over that candy, demonic prayers over that candy. And you know we just it come on now. If you want candy, why can't you just go to uh, the store and get you some candy? You don't. The children don't have to go from house to house to get candy. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be involved in their cult. And we got to be careful. The spirit world is real. The spirit world is real. And when we play with the devil and play with spirits, we open ourselves up for the demonic. Go ahead and finish reading that scripture if you don't mind, woman of God. So it says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So we're not supposed to be fellowshipping with demons. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Oh, Lord. People that's involved in the cult and some of the stuff that they do, you can't even mention it. Yeah. It's a shame. The Bible says it's a shame. Right. And, you know, like I said, people of God, I got to encourage you. Somebody said, well, then, we're going to have a hallelujah night. That's your business, and I'm not, trying to, <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you what to do and what not to do. But I know one thing we're going to do. We're going to be at home. We might be praying on that night, and we're not going to be going trick-or-treating. And that's just the way it is. And and we're going to make sure our porch light is off so nobody come to our house. Trick-or-treating. <laughs> because this is no trick. Life is no trick. That's right. And life is no treat sometimes. This is real life. And we got to learn how to walk in the spirit and that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This is real. Somebody say, it's just a little game. The devil ain't no joke. No, he's not. Mm. God is all powerful now. But don't don't forget that your adversary goes about like a ruin now, seeking who he may devour. That's right. And you know, we just gotta be careful as saints of living God that we don't want open up the smallest door for the devil to come in. Look, Lady Jones, if you'd like to come in on this subject, please. Um, I was thinking about the scripture that said, abstain from the appearance of evil. You know, that's a, that's a big responsibility for us as saints and as Christians to abstain from the very appearance of it. So in um, this walk with God, even if it look or if it appear to be evil, that it warrants, uh, you know, the saint to, to get away from it, just to stay away from it. So, you know, when in doubt, throw it out. If it's, if it's something that uh, is uh, suspect... Uh, then we need to ask ourselves, is that something, really something that the, the Lord will have us to participate in? Well, praise the Lord. Thanks to the living God. We just, that's our catch and that's our stance on Halloween. And uh, like I said, you do what you want to do. You be led of God to do whatever you want to do. But if you research the origin of Halloween, you'll find out that Halloween is the money. It comes from uh, the cult world. It comes from... Uh, uh, occult practices and it's really nothing that's nothing about that's nothing about that night that is edifying amen it celebrates death it, it celebrates evil demonic stuff and as saints of living god we are not supposed to be partakers of that mm. we're not supposed to be partakers of that i say if you need candy go buy your children some candy it ain't the healthiest thing for them but if that's what you <laughs> want to do if that's what you want to do go ahead and buy them some candy my lord don't go from door to door yeah. All this kind of crazy stuff going on in this world, and you're going to entrust your children going from door to door to all kind of people, strangers that they don't even know nothing about. It's just a dangerous thing to do. Yeah. And it's not a wise practice for the church of the living God. Right. And I think, I pray and hope somebody said, well, it ain't going to be no, you just being a party pooper, Pastor John. <laughs> you don't want us children to have fun. Now, I want them to have as much fun as they can yeah. in the Lord. Not in the demonic right. stuff of this world. I mean, come on. We got to be careful, saints, living God. We open up doors to the devil. And sometimes, even in our own background, sometimes in our own family tree, we got things that have been there. And, you know, I mean, concerning uh, witchcraft and all this kind of stuff. You don't want to open up them doors that the Holy Ghost is closed. You don't want to open them doors up. Uh, so don't don't open them doors up. Don't open them up and don't act like it's... It's a joke because people being possessed with the devil is not a joke. People going out there and hurting children and, and killing little children is not a joke. Please don't play with the devil. And if there's any time, now somebody say, I brought candy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass my candy <laughs> out come Halloween. Somebody may even have planned a Halloween party. Well, this message is for you. Mm. Get mad at Pastor Jones enough that you'll go look up the origin of Halloween 
And you'll find out that the origin of Halloween is, you know, basically came from the occult and it came from demonic stuff. And God really would not like us to be a part of that. Uh, Elect Lady Jones, you go ahead and have the last words. I'm going to close it out. Anything? I think you made the plane, baby. <laughs> and then I can add to it. It's, it's, it's plain. It's plain and it's simple. Be careful. And life is about choices. And uh, some of us still choose to participate in things, even though we've been warned about them. Whatever you do, just be careful and, and definitely be prayerful. But please take the time to... Uh, search the scripture and see if this is something that God will have his people to participate in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Safe living God. Once again, at all times, we do not intend to, um, our, jo our job is not to condemn, but just to educate. And that's what we're doing tonight. You be blessed in the Lord. Have a blessed night in Jesus name. God bless you. God bless you.